Hello, everybody. <clears throat> um, today, I had to go to Witchard Village because I needed to take uh, a new photo for my driving license. As I have my driving license now for over 10 years, my picture needs to be updated because they think I've aged when I still look about 20. But, anywho, so I had to go down and get that. I also had to do a postal order because they have to bloody pay for it as well. Uh, and a first class stamp to send it off with. Um, they do have these photo things in uh, the supermarkets, but the one in Asda was out of order, and the one in Tascos was switched off, so I had to trip all the way down to Richard's Village. But it wasn't too bad, because I was able to go into uh, and the charity shops. They've got quite a few down there. Um, I went in four of them today, and I got a different item from each one. And I was really happy with uh, what I was able to find. I was uh, quite uh, stoked, is the word uh, people use nowadays. They're only the popular people. So I thought I'd show you what I found. Now, as you know, I'm into uh, things like the Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. And then those... Uh, things, you know, you have the Knights Templar and the Knights of Malta and stuff like that, and it's to do with uh, if Jesus had had a child with Mary Mandolin and his bloodline was, you know, protected by the uh, you know, the Friary of uh, no, the Priory of Zion and stuff like that and um, you know, and uh, Dan Brown got those books from other ones called Holy Blood, Holy Grail uh, which were out in the 80s, and I have those books, I have the first editions. Uh, and you remember that Kodak I got, it's like in a, a wooden box, and we've talked about the Da Vinci thing before, and um, that uh, catapult I put together in the TV show. So you know I like that sort of thing, and I've got a few odds and ends. When I was in there, I've seen this ladder opener. And on it, it had, now this was in, um, like a, like a little glass display case under the till, you know, the cash, cash, cashier is, whatever you call them over there, and, um, checkout operator, we call them over here, and it had this ladder, uh, opener, and it had this red cross, which reminds me of the red cross you'd see them wearing. You know, similar, or, you know, on the Knights Temple or the Knights of Malta and stuff like that. But I thought, you know, you can also see them on the English flag and the British flag. So I know they've been used, you know, all over at different times for different things. So I just thought it's probably just a Red Cross for something else. Uh, and didn't have a, a good chance to look at it, only from a distance. But when I looked at it closely, and I don't know if this will pick it up, actually says Malta on it. So I was, I didn't. I thought it looked like, you know, from the Knights of Malta, but I didn't know it was actually uh, a Knights of Malta letter open. I just thought it just had a red cross similar to the ones which they use. So I was really surprised when I seen it said Malta on it. I know this is just um, <clears throat> a letter opener. I'm not sure you can go online and find a better uh, find something, you know, even just a letter opener with the Knights of Malta on it. And the charity shop I thought was a really good find. So I uh, was really happy to find that. I, I'm really taken back that they had something with the Knights of Malta on. Something which I can add to that Da Vinci, Holy Blood, Holy Grail sort of collection thing I've got going on. <coughs> the next thing I found, let's hope the pizzas are inside, is this 2D, 3D puzzle of Nefertiti. Um, as you know, I like things to do with the occult and, uh, you know, uh, the mystery religions and things to do with Alexandria and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you can't, you know, see any of these conspiracy websites or anything to do with uh, the ancient past without Egypt and the pyramids and their gods coming up somewhere. Um, and so you have the 2D post of Nefertiti around her. You have uh, smaller pictures of the Egyptian uh, deities, and you put the post and you put the puzzle together in two D. But then you put it uh, 
slot it one slide on top of another and it makes a 3D thing. I don't know why well that sticks out. So you're making 2D and you sort of take it apart and you slot it one bit on top of another and it makes a gold coloured 3D uh, puzzle thing. So I thought that looked really cool. And look, it was only £2. So fingers crossed, all the pieces are there. And in another charity shop, I found this. And this is obviously from the Da Vinci Code, the movie. It's called The Mona Lisa Revealed. And what you do, you put together the puzzle of uh, the Mona Lisa. And then you use this um, black light, you know, in this little pen, to reveal who did the crime, see? The Da Vinci Code, Mona Lisa Revealed. It says, build the jigsaw puzzle, reveal the mystery. And it says it includes an ultraviolet flashlight to decode the puzzle. There's 750 pieces. And like I said, you know, uh, how much I like all this Da Vinci Code stuff and the books and stuff like that. And all the bits and pieces I have on it. So to f And look, that was only £2 as well. So to find all this stuff, I mean, fingers crossed the pieces are there. But to find all this stuff... Uh, in these charity shops, which are mainly just, you know, old people's clothes and stuff like that, you know, bits of rubbish no one ever wants, uh, was an uh, incredible find for myself. I mean, I, I know you could find this sort of stuff online, but uh, I was really uh, shocked I was able to find, you know, these uh, three items, which I really like. I still can't believe I was able to find them there. Obviously, whilst I'm looking, just, you know, like a, a really nice find. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm... I'm quite shocked I was able to, to find these nice things. It was a, a really nice surprise. And got them for next to nothing. So. I uh, hope you like my little finds. I send my love. And I speak to you soon. Bye.